Hi everybody, I hope you had a great week and are excited to work on a new art activity. Um, I thought a lot about what we could do this week and I decided to do something that I think you guys are going to really like because it involves tracing our hands. I know that a lot of you guys, when we have time to free draw or when you finish drawing on the front of a paper and want to do something on the back, a lot of you guys I've noticed really enjoy tracing your hands, especially the younger ones. So I thought it would be fun this week to do a project where we trace our hands in different shapes. So your hand could be like this, or you could have some fingers down, or I'm going to show you a couple of things. You trace your hand and then you figure out a way to turn that shape into something else. So there's lots of different things you can try. You could Google hand trace drawings to get some ideas if you don't like the ones I show you, but I'm gonna show you two things. I'm gonna show you how to make a tree and I am going to show you how to make an animal. I'm not gonna say what animal yet, I'll surprise you, so you have to watch to the end of the video to know what animal I make. So I'm gonna show you right now how to get started on that. Now we are ready to get started. So you may notice that this paper that I have on my desk is not white drawing paper or printing paper, but it's actually a brown paper bag that I got the last time I went to the grocery store. Um, I decided to show you guys how to make these drawings on this kind of paper because you know, I think it's good to recycle materials and to learn that art material materials are everywhere because not everybody has fancy printer or drawing paper at home. And I want to make sure everybody knows that just because you don't have the fanciest art materials at home does not mean you cannot be an artist and create beautiful art. So I'm going to use a Sharpie for my drawing. You definitely don't have to. The only reason I'm doing it is because it shows up better on the video. So. I'm gonna start off making a tree. I'm gonna put my hand right in the middle of my paper and then I'm just gonna trace it. So there's my hand. I can add some lines at the bottom for my nice tree trunk. And let me see, what could I do to make these fingers look more like branches? I think I could make them a little bit pointier. But now these lines look a little bit strange, but I think a good solution would be to just copy them. All right, and let's see. I will just keep repeating those lines. It's looking more and more like a tree every second. So the last thing I think I could add are some nice leaves. But you know what? I'm not just gonna add leaves because we know it's springtime and we're going to see some beautiful flowers bloom in the next couple of weeks. And so I am going to draw some nice flowers. We've got a lovely hand print tree. And next I'm going to show you how to make a little animal. All right, and now we are ready for our last drawing. We are going to make a little wolf or a dog or however you want to think of it. Um, so we're going to take our hands. This part is a little bit trickier. Instead of tracing our hand flat like this, we're going to take our middle finger and we're going to bend it in so our hands look something like that or hand, and then we are going to trace. The first thing I'm gonna do is close this shape with some sort of pointy, swoopy lines to be the back of the dog's head. And the first thing I'm going to add is the eye. So I'm gonna draw a circle right here, 
with the pupil. We know that that's what the black part of the eye is called. I'm gonna add a cute little nose right here. I'm gonna add a little tongue hanging out. And I'm gonna give him some fangs and some little teeth too. And voila, we turned our hand into a wolf or a dog. How cool is that? So I hope you guys try out some of these drawings. If you are able to take pictures and put them on our Google Classroom, that would be amazing. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye guys.